Hey guys, back with another video today. And uh, today we will be starting a different topic, stacks and queues. I hope you all are doing well. Please stay home and stay safe. Uh, before we start, uh, again, I would like to tell about an ebook. Maybe you would have seen in the previous videos, but if you are watching this for the first time, or if you have ignored the previous videos, please just pay attention for the first minute. I will tell about this ebook. This is an ebook on data structures and algorithms. A lot of you are preparing for interviews and internships. So this data structures and algorithms is a very important aspect of that. This ebook has 90 plus DSA chapters and it also has 15 plus HR questions. So that's an additional point of this ebook. It's nice. And uh, the ebook is covered with all kinds of topics, important ones are there. And uh, it is organized in a very neat and uh, tidy manner. And you can see, for example, if you want to go and study graph, so graph representation, adjacency matrix, you will be given detailed illustrations with examples. Author has taken a lot of effort in order to document this and uh, write it and compile everything. So please do consider buying this it is it is uh, available for a very very affordable price the link is in the description of this video please check it out so let us solve today's problem we are starting with stacks and queues uh, let me just uh, one second uh, yeah so i hope you know stacks and queues at least basic things what it is what is the operation of stack so stack is a data structure which follows which kind of method? It follows uh, last in first out. So if you consider a stack and uh, suppose any random stack, okay? And you place elements like this. So A1 or let's say one, two, three, and you want to remove. So the order of removing will be three, two, one. It is like uh, placing a stack of books. So you keep one on top of each other and you remove the topmost one in order to remove the bottom one, you need to remove the topmost one. So order of removing will be what? Last in, whichever came in the last, first it will go out. So queues follow another method that is first in, first out. So queue, you can think of people standing in a queue, standing in a line to collect some uh, item or in a bank or whatever, some, something to collect something when a line is there, people enter and they exit. Whoever enters first, exits first. So uh, that is queue. But stack is whatever enters last leaves first. I think if you know this much about stack and some basic STL operations, I will put the link in the description for stack STL if you're doing C++. Java and Python also, there are so many functions available and I will put the links in the description even for Java and Python. And very shortly, I will also be making videos on how to do programming with Java and Python using data structures or some projects or uh, just general videos on those languages in order to gain uh, uh, you know grip on that so i have done some study on python and java so i will be making videos in the future so for now let us come back to the problem i think if you know this much about stack it is much it is more than enough it is uh, okay so let us see the first problem of today it is known as great, next greater element. So we are given an array of n integers and our task is to find the next greater element for each element of the array in order of their appearance. Appearance, sorry. So we are given an array. For each element, we have to find the next immediate greater, next element which is greater than the current element that we are considering. And if there is no element greater on the right side, then we have to replace the element with minus one, I suppose. So we have to replace the element with minus one. So we have to return minus one. So let us consider example here. 
uh, and how to use stack in this problem let us consider that also so uh, the example over here is 1 3 2 4 okay so this is the example 1 3 2 4 how to approach this problem let me tell you the algorithm see start from the right side of the array traverse the array from right to left keep a stack with you okay keep a stack with you and what we should do with the stack we will check in the stack if there is any element which is greater than the current element that we are at for example let us start we are currently at this element 4 okay we will now check if there is any element in the stack in initially stack is empty okay we will check if there is any element in the stack which is greater than 4 is there any element initially stack is empty you can see stack is empty so when the stack is empty we will just re, uh, re replace that with minus 1 replace in the sense not exactly replace we will uh, we have to make another array we have to make another answer array and in the answer array we basically put minus 1 in that position okay and we will push the current element into the stack so this current element will go inside the stack so stack will look like this now now let us come to this element too again we will check in the stack if there is any element which is greater than 2 yes we can see that 4 is greater than 2 so what we will do now we will put 4 here we will we will say that okay the next greater element of 2 is 4 then what are we supposed to do can you guess so after we get an element which is greater than the current element we will just replace that with that greater element and don't forget to push the current element into the stack after every time we check for a greater element whether we find a greater element or not irrespective of that we should put the current element into the stack so the stack will look like this now you can see here right the stack will look like this and now let us come to this element 3 is there a greater element than 3 yes but we have to reach to that see 4 is here but 2 is on top of 4 so how to reach to that point 4 we should remove all the elements which are smaller or equal to the current element 3 I repeat that we should remove all the elements which are smaller than or equal to the current element in order to check if there is an element greater than 3. So we will remove 2. So 2 is removed and now we get 4. So we will replace 4 here and don't forget to insert 3. So 3 will come here. So stack is 3, 4 now. It looks like that. Again come to 1. Is there an element greater than 3? Sorry, greater than 1? Yes, it is 3. So replace 3. So that is how we are supposed to solve this problem. How did we make use of the stack? Basically, we kept a stack. We kept pushing the elements in the stack. But most important thing is we are traversing the given input array from right to left. Okay. We are then putting all the elements in the stack and for every uh, element we are checking in the stack is there an element greater than the current element if it is less than or equal to we will remove it from the stack and how many times can we do this operation obviously until the stack is not empty if the stack is empty we will just break out so i think you would have understood the code I will just quickly go through it. See, we are given the input vector and the number of integers. I have just created a stack STL. Okay. Uh, STL, this is just a library. You, you can use any method to make a stack. I have made use of the easiest one. So now I'm traversing the array from right to left. 
and I'm checking while the stack is not empty. Is there an element which is less than or equal to a of i? So how to check that? What is s dot top? The topmost element of the stack we will always be checking. If the top element of the stack is less than or equal to current element, we will remove it because we don't want it is less than or equal to right. We don't want. We want greater than. So. If this condition is false, we will break out because we have found an element which is greater. So now we will check if the stack size is zero, that means we did not find any greater element. I hope you can understand this. If the stack size has become zero or it is zero, that means there is no greater element or there is no element only. So we will return minus one. Here I am inserting minus one into the answer vector. Uh, if you have to return, then return whatever is the problem. Okay. So otherwise, if the stack size is not empty, then we will insert the top element because top element will then represent the greater element than the current element. It will represent the greater value than the current value. But we should also push the current element. As I told you, don't forget this last step here. This is important. Push the current element. And finally, your answer vector should be reversed because the order in which you're doing is right to left, right? But the answer should be left to right only. That means you should return left to right only in the same order as the array. So reverse the answer vector. There might be a better method to solve this problem. Please let me know in the comments if there is a much better method. I will pin and highlight or whatever. I'll just pin the comment and everyone can learn about it. So can you tell me the time complexity of this program in the comments? So just type the time complexity. And if you understood this problem, then give yourself and myself a thumbs up. So this was the problem. It is called next greater element. Similarly, in the end of this list, there is another problem. As you can see, the last problem is called next smaller element. So I want you to solve this by yourself because you already know how to solve next greater element. I think you can easily solve next smaller element. So now let us come to this problem. Uh, where is it? Um, yeah. So I hope you are clear with this problem. And now we shall see this problem. You are given a string. The task is to reverse the string using a stack. Actually, you don't have to use string and all. You can directly use inbuilt STL function reverse. It will reverse it. But over here, they have given a, a character array. They have given a character array. And uh, we have to return a character array. Basically, we have to return a character array over here. I have declared a character array dynamically. I have got the length of the array. Actually, they have given length over here only. So I didn't see that. Actually, we don't need to do this. We don't have to find the length of the string as it is already given. I just missed this. So maybe I can omit this. So if I erase this, then uh, I think this becomes len. This becomes len. And this also becomes len. And uh, I think this also becomes len. So this problem is very easy. How can we make use of a stack to reverse the elements? See. Let us consider a stack, okay? And let us consider a string. Let us say the string is Aditya. Okay, so let us say the string is Aditya and I want to reverse the string. What will I do? I will put each and every character in the stack. So how will I put each and every character? What will be the order in which the elements will be stored? First element will be A, next will be D, next will be i, next will be t. So that's how the ordering will happen. That's how it will go inside the stack. 
y and then a so this is how the stack will look like but if you look at it from top to bottom now we have actually got the reverse order right from top to bottom we have got a reverse order now what should i do as i have put the elements in the stack i will pop out all the elements i am just making use of the stack property which is what last in first out so now the string will be reversed it will be a y t i d a so that's all it's a very very straightforward i think everyone would have solved this this is just a method of declaring i think this is called dynamic memory allocation just let me know in the comments if i'm wrong i think this is just dynamic memory allocation and i hope you have solved this problem i think you would have understood by now so that's all for this video please share the channel with all your friends subscribe to it if you have not yet and uh, like the channel and uh, sorry like the videos and yeah my instagram and linkedin is given in the description you can connect with me i do post sometimes and people find it interesting about jobs internships and etc courses etc so please do check that out and uh, please stay home and stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned okay bye